My teacher says my argument is hard to follow. It seems obvious to me. What's the problem? Well, let's have a look. Oh, I see. Can I see your plan? Okay. Why did you put this first? It's the most important point. So say so. Right. Probably the most important reason for blah 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 is blah blah blah. But isn't it obvious? If it's the first paragraph, it must be the most important point. Not necessarily. There are other organizational structures you could use, like in order of time or cost, or when you are following a well-known system like SWOT: strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. But strengths is not the most important. But if you're using cost, won't you put the most expensive one first? If you are looking for solutions, you might put the cheapest one first. Or the first one may not be the cheapest or the most expensive, but the most cost-effective. You need to explain it to your reader. But the readers will see as you read through. Part of good writing is making things easy for the reader. Don't give him extra thinking to do trying to figure out your organization when he is already busy trying to follow your content. So maybe the most important point isn't first. That's right. Another way to help the reader is to put an outline of the structure at the end of the introduction, like this essay first examines the causes and effects of the problem, including blah 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 and blah blah blah, and then evaluates some possible solutions such as blah 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 and blah blah blah. Finally, a number of recommendations are made based on cost effectiveness and practicality. That's okay for problem solution essays. But what about argumentative ones? Same idea. This essay examines the advantages of blah, such as blah 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 and blah blah blah. It then details some of the disadvantages. For example, blah 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 and blah blah blah. If your English is so good, what's the next sentence?、Mm, it concludes by evaluating whether the advantages or disadvantages of blah 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 are stronger in which situation. Good. See, you've got the idea. Yeah. What's this on the other hand for? It's a new topic. But on the other hand doesn't mean that. It means however. It's showing a change, like from good to bad, and、um, you need to explain the change. Like on the other hand, the second effect of the problem has a different cause. I see. But this sounds like a lot of things to remember. There is a simple solution. If you draw your plan, add the organizational phrases on the lines linking the paragraphs. If you write the plan, write the phrases between each paragraph. Good. I like simple solutions. They suit you very well. Thanks. Hey.